Hi, I'm Windra from the WSO2 API Managed Team and in this lesson today we are going to look at how APIs are used in organizations. Uh, so typically uh, data is shared between various people in organizations. These might be internal or even external users to that organization. And you have various systems that process and manage that data. And at the same time, these systems also interact with each other, uh, exchanging data uh, back and forth. Uh, so the main interface that uh, systems use to talk to each other and users have to even interact with systems are APIs. And uh, these APIs can be uh, either exposed over the internal network of your organization or over the internet publicly. And uh, what this does is it actually promotes accessibility and sharing of data uh, in your organization and outside as well. And uh, what this ends up doing is actually empowering your business and your customers at the end of the day. Uh, so exposing APIs over the network is awesome. It brings a lot of benefits but it also introduces some problems that need to be addressed. So the first problem that it introduces is uh, the fact that you run the risk of having unauthorized access to your APIs. Uh, so anything that is exposed over a network can be accessible by anyone who is on that network. So you need to have a way of ensuring that only authorized persons can gain access to the data that is provided by that API. At the same time, uh, you also run the risks, risk of your API being overwhelmed by a large number of requests that might actually come its way. Uh, so uh, every uh, uh, system will have a, have a given capacity and exposing it over the network means that uh, at a given time, you, you have there's no way of predicting how many users might actually be requesting services or of that given API and there is a risk that the API can actually be overwhelmed by just the number of requests that are placed on it by the user. Uh, and at the same time, you also need to address the risk of malicious attempts to actually disrupt your service which is there on anything that is exposed over network. So the WSO2 API, uh, so this is where API management comes into the picture and uh, the WS2 API manager product uh, has some uh, key features that actually addresses uh, quite a uh, all of these problems. So the first thing that uh, the API manager does is it actually provides you a way of advertising and actually making your APIs discoverable. And it addresses the security concern of APIs uh, with OAuth so that only uh, authorized users can actually gain access to your APIs. And uh, when it comes to actually ensuring that your APIs have uh, a stable uh, quality of service and guaranteed uptime, API Manager allows you to actually define throttling policies so that you can limit the number of requests that uh, your API will actually receive. And API Manager also uh, records statistics to help track API usage and also this allows you to actually monetize your APIs. So <coughs> let's look at uh, StubHub, which is one of the customers of uh, API Manager. And so StubHub is in the business of selling uh, tickets for events and concerts pretty much. And so what StubHub, StubHub have done is they've exposed their uh, event listings uh, services and uh, ticket purchasing services as APIs through API Manager to the outside world. Uh, so what this does is it, ena it enables external developers to actually subscribe to these APIs and uh, write new applications. And that use these APIs. And what this has done is actually it's helped to promote 
uh, StubHub's business model by getting more traffic uh, to consume their services and more users are actually able to purchase tickets from various other sources because uh, this capability has been exposed via APIs. So this concludes uh, uh, this lesson where we actually looked at how APIs are used in organizations today. Thank you.